hi boo boo come here hi say hi to everybody no not me them say hi are you tired oh you tired are you so tired guys he is so freaking adorable sometimes like when i'm going through looking at pictures and stuff and i see pictures of him I'm like oh my god that's my dog and I go and get him out of his cage to pet him because he's so freaking cute. So cute. I have to work, boo-boo. Oh, okay. His breath stink, y'all, like some fish. I, I got to get some treats for his breath. Go get his teeth brushed, cleaned. Oof. But he's mine. Anyways. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabrielle. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I say it all the time. I feel like I'm a broken record, but you guys, I'm really excited that we're growing and getting big. I really want to get to 20,000. Like, that's my next goal. So, I'm sorry if I am getting on your nerves of saying hit the subscribe button, but y'all, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> also, share my videos too, but um, stop it. You all up in my makeup stuff. Sit. Sit, boo-boo. Sit. Good boy. Okay, so like I was trying to say, I don't even know what I was trying to say because I can't remember because I got distracted. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be just like my thoughts on this unit that I have in for about a week. It's a pre-made wig um i'm also going to do some tests see how well it straightens if it gets bone straight or not i also want to see how it is when it's curled and i want to use the crimper so if you would like to see all of that and hear what i think about this hair then keep on watching let's start with my thoughts and then we can get into all the trying the different things out with this hair but my First thoughts is like I am loving the hair. It is very fluffy. Y'all know the bigger the better. And in this case, it is so fluffy. It, it's frizzy, but it's the cute frizzy. You know what I mean? It's not like you went stepped outside and it rained a little bit. It was sprinkling and then, you know, it's not like that. It is like real cute frizzy as you guys can see. I love how the hair has ringlets. The company did a really good job pre-plucking um, this wig so I didn't have to do much to it. So that was really good. Uh, the lace color, the color was like bomb for my skin tone. Um, so I didn't really have to do much. I only put a tiny bit of powder and where is my powder so I can show y'all. I got it actually out of um, the Juvia's. I don't know. It's a mess, y'all. It's a mess. I can't even read it because it's so damn dirty with makeup. But I used this color. Ooh, so bright. I used this color right here to really make the hairline look super natural. Like, I am actually shook on how I feel like this. Um the hairline looks really natural because I know there's some trolls out there that you know they just real mean okay they're just real mean but I feel like I did a good job with this frontal um the front of the hairline but other than that the parting you definitely will have to pluck some if you're going to part it in the middle side or whatever um, if you're doing a flip over, then you should be fine. But I had to pluck a little bit, and then I put some of my concealer in the middle like I normally do with all of my wigs. I'm not having any major issues with any shedding or matting. I'm obviously getting snacks because it is curly hair. The shedding is minimal, okay? Um, with curly hair, you're going to, you know, get some strands, and I am getting just that. I am co-washing with my normal stuff, okay? So, with all that being said, let's see if this wig will get bone straight. Okay, so I'm going to take just a strand from the back, and I will be using my Kanye Infinity Pro Flat Iron. Y'all, I forgot my comb, so I'm trying to, like, finger comb it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to be using my flat iron. And I'm going to see how straight it gets with just one pass. 
And as I'm looking at the corner of my eye, it, it definitely is getting straight. Yeah. Bone straight. It's so pretty. So pretty. All right, we're going to do it again. I'm trying to turn so you guys can see. It is literally getting bone straight. With literally one pass. Just one pass. So I'm just going to take the part that I already flat ironed. And I'm going to use my Kanye um, curling iron. Kanye everything over here. Like a loose curl is not as tight as I thought it would be. So let me try it one more time. Let's go over it again. Because this is my smallest cur curling iron. So I really expect it to be tight. Maybe I didn't leave it on for as long as I should have. So let's see. I'm using my smallest curling iron and it is still loose curls. It's not. You know what? I'm tripping. I actually want to try using the curling iron on like the hair straight from its natural state versus how I just did it from it being flat iron. So let's get another piece. Okay, wow. So that definitely. Look at it. Ooh, sorry. A total difference. I really hope this is not like, let me get closer. Maybe that's going to help. But as you guys see, this is a complete difference. Complete difference. Do you want to curl the hair? Make sure you're doing it from the curly state. Because if you do it after you flat iron the hair, it's going to look like this, okay? But if you, all right, you guys, my battery's about to die, but I'm gonna try to hurry this up. I'm gonna spritz this and see if it curls back up. Oh my goodness, y'all, I've been like, you know, scrunching it up and it is getting back curly, so, at first, I was scared because I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, after some time, it's definitely curling back up. So that is really good. All right, guys. So that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video as well. And I will check y'all lovelies out in my next one. Bye.